NDP Saul Mamakwa plans to propose Truth and Reconciliation Day be declared a paid provincial holiday. And it's always us, always us First Nations, and there's just people <laughs> reconciling. And, uh, and I think uh, it should be uh, alongside with all Ontarians. He'll be making the case at Queen's Park in his Indigenous language, the second time he'll speak it inside the legislature. After making history this spring, the first time a language other than French or English was spoken, along with official translation. The National Day for Truth and Reconciliation is a federal holiday, a day when many wear orange, a reminder of when a young Indigenous girl had her orange shirt taken away in residential school. Ontario public servants do receive the day off, paid, after an arbitration ruling with their unions, though other Ontario workers don't. There's no First Nation holidays in Ontario, and I think it's, you know, we're the first peoples of these lands. I think we should at least acknowledge that. Mama Kwa is a residential school survivor himself. He says today he was thinking about a friend of his, recounting the physical abuse he suffered at school in the late 80s. He was telling me when he got struck and that they didn't, they didn't, hit, they didn't hit, hold back at all. They just give it their all and they strap you. A spokesperson for Ontario's Minister of Indigenous Affairs says they have not yet seen the proposed legislation and so don't want to presuppose anything, but says further consultation is needed, including with Indigenous communities. Mamakwa plans to bring this forward to the legislature in November. Lorenda Radakomp, CBC News, Toronto.